like I said, th- that stuff always confuses me about leftist debate bros, right? It's not de- it's not Destiny. I like Destiny, actually. I-, I like him. I do. It's not him. It's not his fault. It's his it's this weird leftist thing of got you owned, owned. You didn't win. I didn't go in to win. I, I literally went in saying, change my mind, bro. Change my mind. And then, well, you managed to change my mind. And now mm. I'm the bad guy. Like, what? What do you want? I, and that, that is, I even asked them, what do you want out of me? Do you want me to go in there and just be an asshole and not be willing to engage? Don't assume no, that the people that, saying that are even capable of understanding the difference between yeah, I know. two sides fighting compared to two people discussing an idea and trying to reach a better understand. Don't assume that anyone could even understand the difference between those two things, especially leftist viewers. I think yeah, I think they can't. They can't understand that the whole point of discourse, the actual point of discourse, is not to win. I know it's how a lot of Destiny's fans probably see shit. Is that you didn't win? I didn't come in to win. I literally said, "Change my mind." Well, I guess in that case, you won. Does that mean you dunk on me? I guess, but when that's how you come into the discussion of change my mind, and I'm not the Steven Crowder change my mind. I'm going to dunk on some college student who doesn't know anything. Mm. A legitimate inquiry yeah. of, mm, I don't know. I mean, I have opinions on this, but I'm willing to, I have an open mind about stuff. They, they, they actually, I don't think, have any capacity to understand. A lot of these left-wingers have no mm. capacity to understand that people have different opinions from them, that they can change their minds on things, that they're capable of it because they're so stuck within their own hive mind bullshit, and that that actually should be the point of discourse. It should be. Mm. I, in my opinion, I mean, I, I, what else is the point of disc? What's the point of talking to people if not to to try and come to mutual understanding about things? If oh, two no. people uh, are the representatives of their tribe's best foot forward, then them fighting on a debate stage where, say, there are some equalizing factors, like they have equal time, or there's a moderator that's trying to make sure that they have equal say. If one of them comes out obviously looking better than the other, then that is considered a win for that side. And that can make sense if it's a confrontational mm-hmm. debate. I question yeah. the, the value of confrontational debates because you can do a lot more with clever rhetoric than you can do with the truth yes. in that context. Um, however, sure. there are many, many times where the, the best foot forward of any given tribe, uh, at least according to them, is someone that is not capable of reasonable... Yeah conversational dialogue like i think you it's and just i about are power already. yeah right and it's just about power you know you and i've had had conversations where we obviously disagree about monarchy for example hmm. we, we have totally different positions on that but we can have a reasonable discussion about it come away with it saying no we don't agree that's fine i can also this is what jan six we were talking about i said well destiny made some good arguments i'm gonna have to go think about that and i, I am gonna have hmm. to think about it like, you made some arguments i've not heard before I'm i did go, win I our debate agree. though Aiden. Okay, sure. <laughs> I think you probably did. I'm not a debate bro, but I don't go into yeah. discussions. I call them discussions because I don't like the term debate because debate mm. implies a winner or a loser. Whereas when I go in to talk to somebody about a, a topic, um, I'm not trying to win or, or lose. I'm trying to understand things better. And mm. so with like Jan 6, Destiny said, come in and I want any conservative to come in and talk to me. And I said, well, I'll come talk to you, man. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'll come talk to you. Every conversation I've had with Destiny, uh, in the last couple of years. I, I think I've been productive where I felt like I've learned stuff. I don't know if he has, but at least it, I felt it was productive, right? Um, uh, it doesn't necessarily change my mind, but it gives me things to think about. That's what debate's supposed, that's what discussion is supposed to be. It's supposed to make you have to think about things in a new, from a new perspective. But this is the, there's this left-wing kind of idea, and I think the right does this as well, so it's not just left-wing. This is the idea that any discussion has to be a war. It has to be a winner and a loser. It can't be about just hashing shit out. And I find I, that to be, I think mm, that's a major problem, honestly. I think that's a major problem. I don't think it's left or right, as you said, although there are certainly tendencies that Perfect. direction today and maybe tendencies in, in this way in general, where the left does it more historically. But the problem, I think, is children and of low IQ and midwits. The problem I think is people that are not capable of thinking who are in the audience 
supporting these groups. Whichever cause is more appealing to children and low IQ people, i.e. whichever cause is more emotionally appealing, but which does not appeal to common sense to people with a lot of experience, even if they have low IQ, is the one that's going to have a lot of these people supporting it who just care about winners and losers because they just don't have an IQ high enough to comprehend any other form of contest, any other form of, of engagement between two different sides. So yeah, also, I think that, that's true. It's, especially it's, it's ideologies bilateral. That, especially ideologies that are not true. And for their believers, they require consistent sermonry to reinforce the ideology. They're going to tell themselves, oh, we're right, we won. Any opportunity for them to have a gotcha and to be able to say, ah, gotcha, I won, even if they've done it Ill illegitimately by some uh, crappy rhetorical method or redefinition. To them, that reinforces their difficult to maintain belief. I think that's why they do it. That's why the left these days do it, does it a lot. And I'm, as I say, there may be a tendency to the left doing it more historically as well, but certainly today it's the left doing it more. Well, the right Whenever well, they got you, know, you, recognize that they are yeah. doing that to con convince themselves that it's true. Yes. I suspect. I think I think you're completely right, and that's why, like, when I, like I said, when I go on and have an, an honest, just very, no strings, just like an honest, hey, Dustin, change my mind, and they like freak out at me on Twitter, then afterwards call me a retard and all this stuff, say that I I, I need to have my degrees re removed and stuff like that, uh, literally uh, call me retarded. It's like, did you not listen to the conversation we just had? It was me sitting there agreeing with him. For an hour, and I go make a good point. Make a good point. I I'm going to push back on this, but make a good point here. They can't. They're so like debate bro brained into the stuff that the the audience. It's, it's not Destiny's fault. Again, Destiny didn't do anything. He was perfectly mm. amicable, as he I, always I, has been to me. I don't suspect Destiny did anything uh, malicious no, or even negligent in that case. No. However, he may no, have cultivated him. that audience by providing that kind of content. It's not him at all. It's just it, I, this has happened every time I've had Destiny. When I had Destiny on uh, my on, on Broken Crown a year ago, we talked about Ukraine. Fucking chat gets flooded with all these comments. They're saying like, "You're a retard. You're an idiot. You're a fucking moron. You're so stupid." And it's like, and then one of the things that they claimed was proof that I was stupid is that I agreed with him on things. Is that not the point of having Maybe a conversation? So we can find mutual goddamn ground. Sorry, is what I'm Maybe they were right wingers telling you that you hadn't argued mm -mm. strongly enough for the right wing position. Uh, no, it was it was his fans who were, and I could tell because they were like, "Destiny owns you," like "Destiny owned your ass," and like, "Okay, uh, he's a he's a way better debater than I am." That's true. Why do you think he he in, like made me? A, hmm, maybe I'm wrong because he's a very good debater. He's very good at making his points. I mean, if I, if he, I appreciate if you say that he had on that way. If you say that he had good points on January 6th, then it's quite possible that some of the people responding to you were telling you, no, Aiden, he's wrong on this, but you didn't respond as well as I would have done, you know, from oh, their perspective. Uh, no, that's not what I'm getting right now. It's just, like I said, it's, it's it maybe people both saying sides. you embarrass yourself. It may be both sides uh, that are responding I, to you. Uh, they're saying I embarrass myself because I don't know anything about Jan sex and, and Dustin knows everything about it. And it's like, okay, he... I don't think he knows more than I do about the event. I just think that he made decent points about what to do about it. About like what it was about specifically: should Trump be charged with with did Trump do a coup? I vehemently disagree, but I'm willing to listen mm. to the argument in favor of that. How many people are willing to even? I, th that's what I want more. That's what I want more of. Personally, I want more people to be able to have conversations like that. Because what do we do? Like in this sphere. We talk to each other, you know what I mean? Like we just talk to people who, who think like us for the most part or think similarly to us. I, I don't find that particularly interesting, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, it's fun, but I think it's more fun to have conversations with people who you don't agree with. Mm. More interesting, more, more intellectually stimulating. Mm. But then you got to have, but then people go like, well, you didn't win, so you're retorted. Okay, that's not the point.